Thanks to each of you for coming out. This is a great, very warm show of support for Newt Gingrich. I'll be very brief. The two blessings in my life I treasure most were having served for 20 years in the U.S. Marine Corps, and secondly, working for Ronald. And secondly, having had the good fortune to work for President Reagan for five years. <laughs> I mention that because that record of service to our country was service at a time when the conventional wisdom was that we were going to have to endure a Soviet threat forever, that there was nothing we could do about that. It was a policy called detente. President Reagan came to office and he said, this idea that things always have to be the way they have been is nonsense. This is an evil empire. We can bring it down. We can reform our own government. We can make it smaller. These were heretical ideas, even in the Republican Party at the time. But he did it. And today, we look back on five years in which he brought down Marxism, ended the Cold War, reduced nuclear weapons. In short, change is feasible with good leadership. In those years, I had the good fortune to meet Newt Gingrich. He was another man who didn't believe that things had to be the way they had always been. You could change them. You could write a contract with America to reform welfare, to balance the budget and actually do it. This is leadership of an extraordinary nature. In the years ahead, we're going to face an uncommon, truly complex, daunting agenda of threats of national security. A family of threats that includes cybersecurity threats, the ability of subversives to bring down our banking system, to mess up your bank accounts and credit cards, also your electric power grid, and every electronic system that truly has begun to control most of what we do from dawn to dusk every day. You're going to face the continuing terrorist threats, but now and in the future, threats that include the ability to use biological weapons and bring about mass casualties. You're going to face also the threat from Iran and others, the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Why do I mention these? Well, because somebody, our president, has to have given a lot of thought to these issues to understand the nature of cyber threats and what we do about it. How can you harden our systems, improve them, make them resistant, to these kinds of threats and overcome them. When I looked at the family of people running for office this year, there was only one that stood out for two qualities. First, having studied for years the nature of these threats. Where do they come from? What is the nature of the technology? And how do we overcome them? And that was Newt Gingrich. Nobody else has given thought to these things running for the presidency. And secondly, it's one thing to know the nature of the problem, another to know the solution, and to be able to get it done. Newt Gingrich has gotten it done. Who else balanced the budget for four years, moved the entire federal government to a very different way of thinking, that we can do this and do it. He also brings to the presidency a knowledge of how to move the U.S. Congress, how to have the courage to go against conventional wisdom, how to balance a budget, and at home and abroad, to show the kind of leadership that President Reagan did only 25 years ago. Nobody else in this race has those qualities of knowledge and experience. I'm here because I believe in Newt Gingrich. He can do this.
He's the only one who can do this. You've got to get out and support this man. Our country at risk. He can do it. Only he can do it. It is an honor, truly, to be here today with you and to introduce the next president of the United States, Speaker Newt Gingrich.